is uh, meat. Different F's. LC's. Here we got a crazy IS350 build that was actually inspired by Scott Pruitt. Yeah, it's actually built by D Sport Magazine. Crazy stuff on it with a world debut of a lip kit. Here we got some Advan Racing Beyond GT Hyper Black machined wheels with nine and a halves in the front and ten and a halves in the rear, 19 inch size. You could see the crazy side skirts, all in carbon fiber, by the way, including the ring, the wing in the back. As we move towards the rear, you'll see the carbon fiber ring with titanium mounts. And then we got the rear diffuser, which is actually wrapped, but it's also in carbon fiber. We got Apex Eye exhaust system. And I'm gonna be coming up to the actual spec sheet so you can press pause and take a look at all the mods over here. As I move back, you'll see the remainder of the build. Love what they did to it, really racy look. And here we come across a favorite build of mine, which actually showed up at SEMA this year. It's, bit, it's basically the Hiraku and Townsend Bell Street Performance IS500. It's basically a, a launch edition IS500 with a whole bunch of different modifi modified parts, including uh, Tom's and Apex Eye exhaust system and a whole bunch of different uh, 3D printed um, parts, including fender flares, uh, side steps, front lip, rear diffuser, and then you got Sabon carbon uh, rear trunk and, and hood. And as we move to the, to the interior, you can see some of the stuff like the carbon Alcantara or custom Alcantara steering wheel, Sparco seats. Uh, you can see the Sparco seats over here. Really impressive stuff. And I'm gonna be moving towards the actual spec sheet so you guys can press pause once again and take a look at uh, all, the, all the specs on this, on this amazing animal. Or the uh, Lexus Corral with all the different Lexuses we have here. A bunch of LCs, RCs, GSFs, all kinds of stuff. That's Eric's. That's a nice RCF. To the team that they are chasing, and that is the number 10. That's even a Not crazier a RCF. Wow. Look at that. ARX 05 DPI. Uh, Ricky Taylor and uh, Philippe Albuquerque who did the qualifying yesterday. They are joined by Alexander Rossi for this event. Man, he's got a cage in the back. Look at that. The racing season, the whole shebang. So GSF. Number 55 Mazda Motorsports, Mazda DPI, outside of the front row. A new RCF. Oliver Jarvis and Harry Ticknell, the full season drivers, joined by Jonathan Bomarito. GSF. And they were at a ISF. 108 This one's modified quite a bit. That's 15 nice GSF, RCF, ISF, and IS. That's Mike's IS right there. And then we've got Mike R over here. <laughs> Only speculation as to what he's going to do is he's going to be going somewhere. That's an IMSA. Oh, yeah. IS over there. That's a really, really nice LX over there. Really, really nice. 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 So here are the pits. I uh, got a bunch of different cars. We've got the Mercedes pit over here. <laughs> we 
These are only the one goes over here. Lexus RCF action. That's her sold it. WWR Windward Racing with the AMG GTR. Look at the panels. zone with a bunch of different cars over here that'll be cool <laughs> oh my god look at that uh, zero one Very menacing. Super sink. Look at this thing. Here we come across the Chevrolet booth. As we come across, we, uh, the first car that we saw was a C8R, and then we see the GT version of the C8 over here. Moving across, we'll see a little bit further down the Camaro ZL1 1LE. That's probably one of my favorite vehicles out there for uh, value in terms of performance ridiculous ridiculous car and then as we move here towards the rear we'll see two different uh c8 z06s we have the coupe over here which was just recently unveiled alongside the other one that's right next to it which is the convertible but you only see half of it to take a look at the chassis but here we can see full-blown z06 in its full glory with the dive planes, carbon fiber wheels, as you can see over here, absolutely insane. I, I was actually blown away when they first unveiled this vehicle and they had the actual press release of it. Uh, here on the side, you see the different uh, side blade compared to the regular C8. Once again, we get to see the carbon fiber wheels wrapped in 345s, 345s. That's OEM. And then we actually go further around the back where you get to see some more of the carbon fiber wing in the rear with the different sort of exhaust um i guess uh, structure compared to the regular c8 with the four exhausts in the middle and then once again you get to see the convertible there half of it to actually take a look at the how the chassis is on that particular c8 z06 
And we finally arrive at the Alexis booth here showing the LX600 that was recently unveiled. We see the actual brand new light bar in the rear showing its brand new styling. In this particular uh, case, we have the LX600 F Sport version with exclusive 22 inch alloy wheels. Uh, it's very similar to its uh, equivalent from Toyota, which is the Land Cruiser. But uh, here we, we see some different styling cues uh, for the F Sport package on this particular one. We see a different grille with that mesh. Really, really imposing look. Uh, they made a lot of changes on the upcoming one with um, a weight savings of about 441 pounds. And they have a brand new twin turbocharged 3.5 liter V6 pushing about 409 horsepower and 479 pounds per foot of torque. Then we got the Inspiration Series 2021 LC500. Um, it's not my particularly favorite uh, styling on this, especially because of the rear aviation inspired wing. As you can see, it's fully carbon fiber, wraps around the entire body of the rear of the LC500. I mean, there are some things that I do like, kind of like the, the as you can see on the taillights, we got the black chrome trim alongside with some brand new wheels. Here we get to see the Vassar Sullivan RCF GT3 race car with its massive wing, rear diffuser, and we get to see its wheels on the side with a side exhaust. And moving forward to the front, we get to see its hood extractors, massive hood extractors, with a little bit of the front lip action. Really, really nice. And sounds crazy too. Center stage here with the IS500 launch edition with its different style wheels and the launch edition color, which is sort of like a nebula gray. Here we come to the 2022 Lexus GX460 Blackline edition. Uh, really, really nice wheels, but I don't think those wheels are actually standard on the black line. These are aftermarket because the black line actually comes with uh, glossy black exclusive wheels for the black line version. Uh, but we get to see some other different things that come included with a black line edition, kind of like a lower front and rear valence alongside with a brand new color, which is the Nori Green Pearl. That's something that is brand new as well. As you can see here, that's a, a GX460 black line. And you get some nice exclusive side, side steps. We come around to the front of the GX460 black line to basically finish off the brief overview of that beautiful GX. Uh, hope you enjoyed as much as I enjoyed filming. As always, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment below. And I'll see you guys next time. Adios.